Hey there guys, it's Delta49er here with another episode of the Just Cause 2 Let's Play. We left off here, we had taken over this base with the Ular boys, and today we're going to go over and do another mission with them, uh, because I think you have to do like two missions per faction to get to the next faction or something. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go over there. Um, I'm just going to go over there and then resume the recording once I get there. Uh, but that is the plan, we're going to do another mission, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm back. What a speedy minute. So we are coming in for a landing here. Uh, I always find that parachuting is so much faster, unless I guess I had a plane, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty fast. Pretty speedy. All right, let's go to the mysterious telephone. And, oh no, it's just like, oh, it is a telephone. Okay, cool. We have been stealing government diesel for some time. I need you to help us find out how much they know about it. Go to each of their research checkpoints, said Ari, and download the info off their computers. Alright, new faction mission, siphoning gas. So, uh, let's see here. There is... I think I'm going to get rid of the pistol, actually. For that, because that'll be a lot uh, better for me. Uh, so they give us a nice yellow car. Of course it's yellow. <laughs> Cause it's all, it's all propaganda. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and go to this pipeline thing over here. I think I actually remember this mission. It's actually kind of exciting. If you, maybe not, maybe that's a further, or one that's further along. But one of them you like blow up their pipelines and stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my car here. Cause, uh, cause I don't want to cause any situation. There we go. Good. The only good thing about a pistol is that you could use it for this sort of thing. I should be using my melee. Thank you, MC Capitalist, for <laughs> reminding me that melee is a thing. And uh, yet, I still do not seem to uh, remember. All right, so we got... Oh, we got to transfer it. Hold on, the SD card doesn't... It's not a wireless SD card or something. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead, and get to the next one. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care too much about the car because, uh, as I said, parachuting is so much faster. I think they just gave it to me so that I could drive. But look, I've I've played this played this game before, and I I know more than anyone. Not really, but <laughs> I know that cars are the slow way. Yes. There we go. See, look. I I did a melee kill. Nice. All right. So we got that guy. Um, I don't know where the other guy is. I can't. I hear him, but I. Oh. Hi, sir. There we go. Melee kills. I think you actually get like. Do you get more points for that? No, nah, probably not. I don't know. Alright, cool. Headshots, 62 out of 100 something kills. That's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 1. So I was uh, watching a video of NerdCube playing Just Cause 3. I've, actually, I've watched a few of them, but... <laughs> uh, and there's like these turbo rocket things, which are... Like, you can stra you put on anything and it makes it fly away and explode. Pretty cool. Pretty excited about this. Needs to happen. There we go. Let's transfer this. So, I um, definitely want to see how that, see what that's like uh, once it's completely released. And also the explosions. I think I saw this in one of their trailers, but the explosions are extreme, which will be interesting. It adds a new thrill to the game. So kind of excited. December. I pre-ordered it a while ago, but it's coming, it's supposed to come out in December, so I will, um, I plan to do a series on it, let's play, well that's what this is sort of leading up to, so yeah, I plan to do a series on it, and hopefully it'll be, be good. I think the game will be pretty, pretty interesting, because they, I mean it's been since 2010, since they, 2010? 2009, since they released this one, so. Should be interesting. 
All right, cool. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, um, I kind of asked this late in the video, but like, well, as of me recording this, which I guess is not really a fair, uh, it's only been like a few hours when I'm recording this since the last episode went up, but uh, no one actually answered. I asked like way in the video if I should include me completing the uh, bases and stuff, or if uh, you'd like to just see the missions. Uh, so let me know in the comments below what you think uh, or like what part you'd like to see. Um, if you'd like to see me do parts of the uh, completing the bases or um, or just you know do all of them or not at all. Let me know. I don't really uh, mind either way because I'm going to complete them. But it just you know do you want me to complete them on camera uh, or on video? Um, let me know. All right, I think we're good here. We can probably leave. Let me get to a safe spot so I can look at this. Oh my goodness, that guy is insane. Okay, so so we have that settlement. Um, usually there's another mission, but I think we have to complete some of the settlements, so we'll probably do that. We might as well complete this one in this episode since it's only been... Um, a few minutes, really, so that's, that's actually, we completed that pretty easily. It's because there's not really too much, uh, as far as explosions and things to do. Did that guy kill him? Like, did I, did I do that? Okay, bye. Alright, so, let's see, I think this, is this a non-weaponized, uh, non-weaponized. I need a weaponized helicopter, which there should be something like that, or like a tank or something around here. Is there a boat? That's what it is. If I get the boat, actually, let's get the one over here. Uh, hmm. How would we just use this? <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, move in. Go there we go. Now we're really exploding things. Good. Um, what else do we have? This thing doesn't really can't really turn very much, but good. All right, uh, there's a helicopter coming over here, but uh, actually that might be a problem. The way it's angling at us is probably going to be deadly. <laughs> let's let's get over here. Uh, I'll, I'll grab onto it once it gets a little closer, but. All right, where is he? This is perfect, I need this. All right, let's go. What do we need? How do we unlock the... How do we kick him out? Two, four... Don't take the oh, okay, it's only three. There we go. There's a container over there. Let me explode... Make, explode everything. Let me blow everything up here that we need to, and then we'll worry about the container. Or, yeah, I guess they're containers, I don't know. What else do we have? Probably just the containers at this point. Yeah, I think I got everything. As long as there's nothing... There might be, like, this pipeline might be something. We'll see. Alright. Let me go ahead and... Oh! Oh my goodness! I think I just died. That actually happened. Continue game. Where is it going to spawn me? Alright. No. I'm back here. Oh. Well, we tried. I can't believe that I just died. I didn't actually... Like, out of all the places that I could have died, I should have been higher up in the air. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go back over uh, to this base that we were just doing. And then we'll complete it uh, from there. All right, we are almost there, coming in for a landing yet again. Uh, I realized that I, like halfway through, I realized that I could uh, just extract to this point, uh, but actually it was probably worth not extracting because I passed over a bunch of different settlements that I um, discovered, so then I can actually extract to those too now, like in the future, so uh, it's probably good that I didn't, uh, at least at this point in the game. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get these weapon parts. 
they don't come after you for weapon parts, I don't think, so that's good, because I think that's all we really need. Uh, there might be a pipeline thing that we need to do at the end, but then we can, like, escape quickly. Uh, let's see, there's another one back here. I wish you could, there was some way to see on the map where they were. It's, again, as I said, like, maybe last episode or two episodes ago, it's sort of part of the challenge to find these things, because, um, honestly, that's probably one of the hardest parts of completing everything if you're going, if you're in mercenary mode. Um, is to get all of these boxes at every settlement, but, um, but yeah, we're gonna complete this one at least. It's, not all of them are, like, usually they're pretty easy, uh, to find if you just go around, um, sort of, you know, some sort of system, and, like, go around to all the different places in the settlement, uh, but some of them, like, the big oil, or whatever, diesel, oil, factory thing in like the middle of the bay um, is a little bit difficult to find them all because it's so huge so uh, it's like I have a it just has like a massive massive weapon I don't want the machine gun or whatever it is assault rifle I think I keep calling it a machine gun but I think it's an assault rifle I don't really know what they consider it to be in here I still didn't get to my location, I mean my location, my my destination. I don't really want to deal with this. I also don't want to risk a crash again, but it might have to happen. Because there's only one way to... Only one way to stop him when you don't have too many weapons to destroy him with. And one... There we go. Alright, so if I learned anything from last time, it is... Do not bail. There we go. Okay, that was close, actually. Like, it, it almost happened again. There we go. Let's get this one. Ooh, there's actually a weapon thing over here as well. Cool. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I needed. Alright, so this is good over here. Let me just... It's bothering me. I need to get rid of this waypoint. There's one over here. We're at 97, so this actually should be the last one. And then... Yes! Alright, we completed a settlement. I think that might be the first settlement we completed. Um, but we... You get a lot of money for it, so... It's actually probably worth completing them. Even if I don't do it on video, which let me know... In the comments... If you want me to complete them, or not. Um, and uh, I will... You know, decide based on, like, common response. So, uh, yeah. We completed that, got some money, and uh, also, in the comments, let me know what your favorite feature that you have seen, at least from footage of Just Cause 3, um, is, and uh, if you haven't watched any, you know, gameplay of Just Cause 3 or trailers or anything, go check it out, it's pretty cool, um, a lot of interesting improvements, I think they're going more for a, um, it's more like an action game, less, it's less realistic and more like action filled, um, it's not that it's not, they're not trying to make it realistic, but I think it's, this is definitely, like, um, there's less, like, huge explosions and stuff, I think, than there will be in Just Cause 3. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Make sure you answer those questions in the comments below, and if you uh, answer that favorite feature in Just Cause 3, I will read them in the next episode. So, yeah, that's it. If you're not already subscribed, then make sure you do that for more gaming tutorials and reviews every Saturday and Sunday. If you did enjoy this, a like and a share would be greatly appreciated. Sharing the video does really help me out. It gets other people watching the series and uh, gets other people discovering my channel. Uh, so if you're not following me on Twitter, haven't liked the Facebook fan page, you're not following me on Google+, Plus, those links are down in the description below as well. Thank you for watching and have a good one.